Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create phaser or the phaser effect in Reaper. I have a project set up here where I've already chosen some of my favorite sounds to use a phaser or a phaser effect on. I created a drum machine over here with the individual sounds down over here so I could treat them separately. I'm using a kick, a snare, a clap, and a hi-hat. So let's hear what a phaser sounds like for each of these sounds. Let's start with the snare, select the track, hit Shift and F, which opens up the effects browser for that track, and we'll type in, in the filter, phaser. And the plugin we're going to use is right here. It's a JS plugin, and it's called 4Tap Phaser. Let's double click it, and it's going to add it to our snare. Before, the snare sounded like this, but with the phaser, it's going to sound like this. Notice how it changes over time. We can affect the rate right over here. Faster or slower. We can adjust the frequencies with these two faders, the range minimum and range maximum. We could adjust the feedback as the sound feeds back into itself, repeating or intensifying the effect. Without it, and with it. Then we could adjust the mix right here, which is how loud the effect is blended in with a direct sound, or a snare. It's really useful for fills, like this, or anything else where you want that thick effect that changes over time applied. Let's try it on something else. Let's put it on the claps. Select the track, Shift F, double click the effect, and before it sounded like this, but with it, it sounds like this. Make it faster. Readjust the range. Bring up the feedback. Or the mix. Now let's try it on the hi-hat. Double click it, and before it sounded like this, and after it sounds like this. Let's also check it out on the kick. Select it, Shift F, double click it. Now for the kick, it kind of distorts the low end, but it's a very cool effect for doing lo-fi tracks. Before, it sounded like this, but after, we adjust this, Kind of gives a pitch to the kick.
It's also very useful for instruments with pitch. Or melodic instruments, let's try it on a bass guitar. Right now, it sounds like this. But with the phaser, it sounds like this. It's a much more interesting sound as it changes over time. Let's also try it on piano. Right down over here, I have a piano, which sounds like this. But with a phaser or a phase effect, it'll sound like this. Let's hear it in a track where we can adjust the parameters. Pretty cool effect, and it sounds nothing like a piano, but very dynamic and modulating. But to really hear what this can do, let's put it on a synth right here. And before, the synth sounds like this. But with the phaser, it sounds like this. It's a pretty intense effect. And then finally, Let's hear it on a guitar. Right over here, I have a guitar part. But with a phaser or a phase effect, it'll sound like this. I think you get the idea. The phase effect is very useful for just about any source you could think of. And that's how you create it or use it in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.